Hi there, so this is a problem to go with lecture four, which is about a hollow shaft, question seven in the problem sheet. Um, and you've looked a little bit at shafts before. Um, so this is th things like a crankshaft or the shaft of jet engine, something like that. Something that's rotating under load that's causing it to strain, to shear a bit, and that experiences a stress. That is, it's transmitting a power. So we think of a shaft which is hollow, um, and has an, a, an outer diameter of 75 millimetres, a wall thickness uh, of 5.5 millimetres. It's rotating at 5,000 revolutions per minute, and it's transferring a power of one megawatt. That's a pretty pretty chunky amount of power. Now, you know from mechanics uh, in first year that power transmitted is equal to the torsion times omega. So this is a newton meters, and that's a radians per second. Um, and that T divided by the second moment of area J is equal to the shear stress divided by the radius. And J, furthermore, J is given by a half pi outer radius to the 4 minus inner radius to the 4, which you did by integrating and finding a second moment of area. Um, and what we want to know is what's the shear stress in the outer skin of the shaft, and then we're going to use Mohr's circle to find the principal stresses. So, first we need to find T. So T is going to be P divided by omega. So that's equal to 10 to the 6 watts divided by some number of radians per second. So that's 5,000 revolutions per minute. A revolution is 2 pi, and we need to turn it into revolutions per second, so we divide by 60. 2 pi is about 6. So this is about 1,000. So 10 to the 6 divided by 1,000. The answer is going to be about 1,000. Um, and oh, 5,000. Uh, yeah, so the answer is going to be about 2,000. Sorry. So we're going to get an answer of 1910 Newton meters when we multiply it. Okay. And it's sort of important to sort of run, multiply that number out, divide it, check you haven't got anything funny going on when you get your calculator out. We'll find J yeah, as being a half pi, so something like one and a half times, then we've got to find the radius to the four, so 0 0.075 meters, no, 0 0.0375 meters to the four, minus, if you take off five and a half off the wall thickness, the diameter is going to go down by 11, um, so we've got uh, instead of being 37 and a half, it's going to be a radius of 32 millimetres. Um, so that's 0 0.032 millimetres to the 4. Uh, sorry, metres to the 4. Okay? Um, and that gives us an answer, when we multiply it all out, of 1.46 times 10 to the minus 6 metres to the 4. Okay. So... Um, if you were doing this in millimetres to the 4, you'd have to multiply it by 10 to the 12. So that's 1.46 times 10 to the 6 millimetres to the 4. It's powers of 4. Um, funny. OK. Um, so uh, now knowing J and T, we can multiply by R to find Tor. So Tor is going to be T R over j, so that's our 1910 times uh, 0 0.0375 divided by 1.46 times 10 to the minus 6. And we've got newton meters, newton meter squared divided by meter to the 4. It's going to give us an answer of newton per meter squared, which is a valid stress. Very good. So dimensionally it works. Um, and that gives us a number when we plug it all in of 49.1 megapascals. 
So we weren't told about any other stresses, so we can assume they're zero. So we'll have a stress matrix of zero, zero for the two normal stresses, 49.1, 49.1 megapascals. Great. Um, and that's Mohr's circle. Um, so now we've written down the stress matrix, and we can sorry, we can do a Mohr's circle now. Um, and the Mohr's circle is going to be really easy, and that will enable us to find the principal stresses. Um, so if we do a Mohr's circle for this situation, we've got 0, 49.1, 0, 49.1, draw a circle between them, vertical axis is there trivially, the radius is therefore 49.1, and the principal stresses are plus, plus minus 49.1, so the principal stresses are plus minus 49.1 megapascals. So that's the easiest Mohr's circle in the world. Um, and that's the answer for your hollow shaft. Very nice. Um, so that's it for this problem.